Here's why the channel recommends that you consider investing in Haiti's currency and or Iridium. The bottom line is, Haiti is worth billions. So, let's get right into this special report. Iridium is worth more than gold. Let me repeat that. Iridium is worth more than gold. Its resistance to high temperatures and corrosion makes it almost indispensable in manufacturing aircraft engines and deep water pipelines. Iridium is believed to be found in large quantities in Haiti, which is said to have the second largest reserves in the world. So, while the gangs were running what they deemed to be traitors to the people, out of control of their country, this is one of the reasons why. Although not all the gangs understood what was happening, the most educated gang leaders certainly did. The channel ventures to say that, as long as the new prime minister avoids making side deals with companies that do not have Haiti's best interests in mind, he will do just fine. Haiti's natural resources are believed to include billions, not hundreds of millions, but billions and billions of dollars in the form of a rare metal that the world cannot do without. Haiti's iridium assets do not include the island's massive amounts of oil. The nation is thought to have gold deposits worth $20 billion. It does not include Haiti's considerable limestone, marble, or copper deposits. The World Atlas confirms the gold, copper, limestone, and marble deposits. According to news reports, Haiti has one of the largest iridium reserves in the world, second only to South Africa. They just leave the hole right open. In the northern part of the country, where companies go to mine gold, when they take the gold out, they don't do anything with the salt to assist the people that are living there. So the resources that we have on the lands are being excavated and taken into cars and leaving. At Says one ton of Haiti's iridium. Iridium. I wanted to get to Iridium yeah. is worth $45 billion. Mm. We have mountains of it. So what... The channel is unsure if you realize this, but the recent election for president in South Africa had China and many others on the edge of their seats. The group running against the existing president, Cyril Ramaphosa, wanted to exit the BRICS group like Argentina did. Cyril Ramaphosa won the election, and South Africa is still a member of BRICS, at least for now. Iridium costs around $6,000 per ounce. To get around 3.5 kilograms of iridium, you must process over 700,000 tons of ore. That is why iridium is one of the most expensive metals in the world, and Haiti is said to have mountains of the ore. This chemical element is more corrosion resistant than any other metal and is also one of the rarest. It is so rare in fact that some scientists speculate that it originated from space. Scientists speculate that the metal may have come from space because it was found in the asteroid that destroyed the dinosaurs. Speaking of asteroids in space, we have wealthy investors who want to mine asteroids for the iridium metal. Of course, these high-stakes investors will manage their investments like OPEC and ensure that the price of iridium doesn't fall as more of the metal becomes available. Unlike gold, iridium is not reactive, so it works well with other components. These properties allow manufacturers to use iridium in various applications. Iridium may be combined with platinum to give it extra hardness. The hardened metal can then be used in heavy-duty applications. Its heat resistance means it can be used as a crucible to hold objects where materials can melt at high temperatures. The aerospace industry and the aircraft industry cannot function without iridium. Another reason the metal has become popular is the skyrocketing popularity of LED screens where iridium is also used. This video was almost classified as a membership-only video. However, because the subject matter involves investing in an exotic currency, the Haitian Gorday, it is classified for all subscribers. Thank you for watching.